Hello, I'm Johnny and this is my YouTube channel. So, I showed you me of the books so I thought I may as well show you these because these are newly purchased books. Uh, needle felted animals, needle felted dogs. So I watched um, Philippa Feltz on YouTube and she was shown a book of by the same author as this. Uh, Cindy Lou Thompson and the publisher is Hubble Shetty. I think it is Shetty. And uh, the book I was interested in was Wildlife, uh, Rabbits and Things, but they've all sold out, so I got this one instead. And it's a masterclass in needle, needle felted dogs. Well, I'm no master, I'm not even a beginner. The closest I've been to needle felting is a kit years ago. It was supposed to be a donkey and it just turned out it looked absolutely horrific. Um, I have recently bought a needle felting kit of a, is it an iguana? A chameleon, those ones that change colour. Yeah, and I haven't started that yet. Um, and I've just needle felted a few faces and hair and stuff on art dolls. But I really want to get into it. I mean, um, I should have started with a beginner, but I was really interested in this because it's got uh, the way she does the armatures, the wire armatures, and I do a lot of that making art dolls and that, so... Yeah, I just like the, the detail on it. I'll just, um... I normally flip through from the back, but, um... Let me see... From what I've seen on the, on Philippa's felts, it was really interesting. She shows you all the tools you need, everything. I've got one of these, but uh, I just use it for you know when you're making um, like soft toys, the fur, and you rub it out to get so you don't see the um, stitching. But this is how you, what is it? It's roven wool and you make it um, frizzier into one form, something like that. Don't quote me on that. Anyway, she shows you the measurements of the armature, the wire for the armature. And then it shows you, I mean, some of the books you get, it doesn't show you all this and it doesn't explain into detail, so you're left guessing. Even on some when people are showing you tutorials on YouTube, it's like it's a big secret uh, to keep things out. But you need to know how to start from scratch. I mean, I think I'll be able to get to this bit and then when it comes to the detail and that, I think I will struggle. But practice makes perfect, so I will give it a whirl because I am really interested in it. It's just amazing the way it uh, comes together. And she shows you the face detail. What's that? And there's another technique. Oh yes, and I highly recommend buying some of these or you might get them in a kit because I tell you what, I don't know how many times I stabbed my hands. Oh, and it really hurts. Right, I'm not going to go through the whole book. Because I don't want to spoil your fun if you buy it. Oh yeah, the, that's a big thing as well because when I'm doing amateurs, all the measurements and that, oh, confuses me. But it doesn't take much. Yeah, sausage dog. And what's that in Alsatian? Yes, it all looks very interesting. She even shows you the markings to draw on the dog. So then you can put the longer wool on it. Yes. I mean, I was thinking when I got this book, because um, I didn't think I'd make the dogs, but once you get the armature and the base body down, I thought I could make um, like an alien dog or a, a dragon or I don't know. 
my imagination goes wild when I start things. It usually ends up changing. Yeah, so that's a look at that. And this one, uh, how much did I pay for that? I think it was £12 something off Amazon. And then I paid about £4 for this. Because I just liked these little cute penguins. And I think I've seen a, a hedgehog. Yeah, there are some little cute hedgehogs. I thought I'd like to make them. Uh, wait, I was gonna, was I gonna read? No. If you want to read it, the, it's a bit of a mouthful for me. Oh, what's that? Hubble and Hattie. Well, why did I say Hubble and Chatty? Oh, God. Uh, yes, I've thought the S, uh, the um, and was an S, so it's not Hubble and Chatty, it's Hubble and Hattie. <laughs> Right, so that's that. Yeah, so I'll have a... What's this? Uh, by Yuko Sada... Yuko Sakuda... Yuko... Yuko Ko Cafe. Now, I assume that's somebody's name. So sorry if I've spelled it, pronounced it incorrectly. Anyway, lovable felted animals, enchant mascots, pets and accessories. So let's have a quick flick through this. I mean, and those just adorable. Absolutely gorgeous. When you look at them there, you think that would be simple to make, but I bet you yeah, it's complicated for me. Right, have a flick through. Oh, there they are, those little hedgehogs. Right, let's see. So she gives you the pattern. Uh, get to that stage, fine. Um, oh, I bought some of that recently. I was going to make a hedgehog. But I didn't. But I will in the future. Oh, yeah, I think I... Yeah, I think the first project I'll do is a hedgehog. I think I'll be able to do that. I mean, you don't need a, let's see, no. You don't need an armature, because basically it's like a, an egg shape, isn't it? Yeah. So I'll try that one. Oh, koala bears. Llamas. Oh, what's them? Are they fridge magnets? Oh, yeah, they'll be interesting to make. What's them? Oh, ring trays. Pen covers. Otter. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? I mean, that's just an ornament, the, um, where it's laying on. But you can make that out of clay. Or you could even make it out of needle felton. Oh yes, I think I'll um, I'll enjoy making some of the things out of here. Yes, oh the little blue tit is it? Oh, and it shows you how to make its legs. I was wanting to know how to do with that because uh, I've made a few legs out of clay. Uh, bird's legs and I've also wrapped florist tape around the wire but this shows you how to needle felt it I think that'd be pretty cute yes so that's that that's the back cover with those gorgeous hedgehogs again what's that the Tuttle story well I won't go into that because I'll just be babbling through it if you want to so yes, I really like both of these books, but this seems a bit beyond me. So I'll have to get cracking on this one and then try this one. So thank you for watching. I hope it was informative. And at least you've uh, bought me babbling. Um, have got anything else to say? No. Johnny signing out. See you bye.